so in season two we were introduced to a new character lily and right off the bat she rubbed a lot of people the wrong way even in the trailer for season two when that released rubbed a lot of people including myself the wrong way however i think lily gets too much hate i think she will become one of if not the best character on the show and she is the perfect person to be in a relationship with ricky but quickly before i get into that if you're new to the channel please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future high school musical the musical the series videos every single week on wednesday at 1 p.m eastern lily let's talk about the villain quote unquote of season two i've seen her be referred to as the villain of season two the villain of the show and i don't think that's the case let me get this out of the way right off the bat yes she has done some things that could be seen as a little bad you know in her first appearance in episode two she she wasn't the nicest to our group and she did steal the harness yes sure but there is more to her than just that evil side of her that everyone seems to just forget about in every single one of her scenes granted she hasn't had a lot of scenes but i think that even speaks more to the talent of olivia rose keegan in every one of her scenes every piece of dialogue that she's had there has been layers to it layers that and i love the rest of the characters i love the actors but layers that i haven't felt really with anyone else in the show she is able to have that sort of maybe little stuck up meanie if you will to put it nicely but also underneath that have an underlying sense of humanity and most of the time a genuineness that we also haven't really seen from anybody the scenes that pop out to me the most well really it's all their scenes when she's talking to ricky in the auditorium talking about how you know nini wrote the song and and trying to you know get into his head on one hand yes lily in that scene is trying to get into ricky's head she's trying to probably mess them up for the show and sabotage sure but at the same time i i genuinely feel and i what i got from her is that she genuinely felt like he was in a bad relationship and that he would genuinely be better with her and that she genuinely cared for him i genuinely think i'm gonna use the word genuinely a lot in this video i genuinely think that lily actually cares for him and i really think that she has a real crush on him not just some you know oh this boy is cute or not some crush that uh he tr you know she's trying to sabotage him and the group i really think she has a genuine genuine crush on him and genuine feelings for him the scene for me that really drove home the fact that there's more to lily than just being the bad guy is when she called ricky in big red's basement I think for a lot of people, myself included, that came out of nowhere when she called him. I, I was kind of like, "This is this is strange. Uh, why is Lily calling him? Hang up the phone. Don't answer it." At this point, I wasn't on the Lily train yet. But then that phone call happened, and she opened up to Ricky about her struggles at home, and th that she just wanted advice for help. There, there wasn't any kind of secret ulterior motive there. She was just calling a guy, asking for help. And Ricky is the best person to give that help. Because he also has struggles at home with his parents. Now, we don't know what extent Lily's struggles are at her home are, but the fact that Ricky has gone through that has dealt with that is dealing with that 
and is starting to come to terms with it and is starting to make the best out of the situation at home. For Lily, that could mean everything. Most of the 99% of the time in life, but also in movies, the character or person in real life isn't a bad person. They're either compensating for something, either, you know, their own self esteem, lack of confidence, whatnot, or that kind of personality, those kind of actions of maybe not being the nicest person is all they know because when they're at home that's all that they're treated like so they don't know any better they don't know any different now we don't know for certain yet because we haven't seen the lily's home life i assume we will in season three more in depth but if i was to assume if i was to guess i'll say if i if i was to guess and theorize about what her struggles are at home, I would assume it has something to do with a combination of neglectful parents, which is why she's always gunning for the lead, along with parents that probably don't treat her the nicest. So she doesn't know how to treat anyone any better because her parents never, she never saw that growing up. She never saw that way to treat people nicely. So when it comes to Ricky, now she has genuine feelings for Ricky, it's it's a whole new world. It's a whole new ballpark for her. And I think that's where this nice side of Lily starts to finally come out. Because it only comes out when she's around Ricky. It wasn't it didn't come out when she was at auditions. And obviously when she's talking to Nini and whatnot, it doesn't come out then. She's a little rude to uh, her friend Frenchie, but when she's talking to Ricky, she's just real. She's honest. This, this is something she's never experienced before. That scene in the hallway where she pretty much asked Ricky out on a date. Like, she was super vulnerable there. She put herself in a situation to be hurt, and she was hurt. Ricky turned her down at, in that scene. Every line of dialogue she spoke to Ricky was not a lie. She actually felt all those lines of dialogue, and that was confirmed in that final scene, not the final scene, but in the finale when Lily and Frenchie come to the, the pizza place and she just straight up tells him how she feels. There was no reason to do that anymore because the plays were over. The competition for them was over. She didn't have to sabotage them anymore. She wasn't sabotaging them anymore because there's no need to. The fact that she still was trying to pursue Ricky after the show was done proves that she was never lying in the first place. And it was totally genuine. And full credit goes to Olivia Rose Keegan for that because the writing this season was not the best so that that was not there in the writing it was all about how she played it and she played Lily especially in that scene so vulnerable and that's what makes her so good for Ricky I think everyone right now, because a lot of people in my comments are saying that they hope Ricky and Lily break up, go back to Ricky and Nini, Ricky and Nini's endgame. I was in that same spot all the way up until episode six or seven of the show, of season two. I was in that same position with you. But then what really made me see otherwise is... When Ricky sang Let You Go. Because one of my biggest criticisms of season two, and you guys probably know this if you watch my my thoughts on this season two on that video I made. My one of my biggest complaints about season two is the fact that it retread old ground that the show 
walked on already, and it pretty much undone everything from season one, and it just all the writing was just not the best when it comes to Ricky and Nini. They, there was no reason to break them up. There was no reason to break them up. There was no reason to have any drama between them. That happened in season one. There's no reason to do that again. So, because I have that mindset, once he's saying let you go, in my eyes, if they want to have good writing and, and continually write this show well in a way that makes sense and is natural, they can't go back again now and have them go back together because they've changed their minds so many times. Ricky has let Nini go. Nini let Ricky go a long time ago. Ricky has finally let Nini go, and it's for the best because Ricky and Nini, they're not on the same wavelength anymore. Nini is focusing on her music career, and Ricky is focusing on just life, on his life, on, on being a better person, on bettering him. And Nini was a little selfish this season. Ricky didn't always communicate the best, but there is some fault on him, but she was just not the coolest person towards him this season. It hasn't felt like Nini has genuinely cared for Ricky in a long time. Whereas with Lily, it's pretty much the complete opposite. Nini is pretty much cool to everyone else besides Ricky. When they were in a relationship, once, you know, they ended their relationship, you know, they were kind of just like colleagues, if you will. You know, so there's not any, like, bad blood, nor is there any strong feelings that, like, they're strong friends anymore. They're kind of just like, you know, you know how you have school friends? They seem to just be, like, school friends. You know, people you talk to in school because you're around them all the time, but outside of school, you never talk to them. Nini, Lily, I should say, is the opposite. To everyone else, she, she yeah, isn't the best person. When it comes to Ricky, she is someone that she she can finally be herself around Ricky. And the fact that they've the biggest reason, the biggest reason why they are going to be so good together is because of that shared experience with struggles at home. And the fact that Ricky is a very nice guy. He's a very nice guy, a very understanding guy, and we saw with Nini that, yeah, he he did have that lapse of judgment where he deleted the comment on her Instagram, and that was not a good decision. I'm not defending that decision at all. But outside of that, he has always wanted the best for Nini. Proven by the fact that he was the one that instigated the breakup. He knew, we, we saw how much it tore him up and how much it really didn't tear Nini up. It took days, weeks, to, for Ricky to even think about moving on. It took Nini like a, a day. He knew... The best for her was to break up, even though it would crush him. He always wants the best for people. So, when it comes to Lily, not only will being around him more make her a more genuine and a more nice person, because she's going to be more used to acting that way, because, as I said, she really only acts that way around Ricky, so the more time she spends with Ricky, the more time she spends acting that way, easier it'll be for her to act that way towards other people not only will that happen but she will see from Ricky that you know people there are people out there who genuinely want the best for her which is something that I highly doubt she experiences at home that is also going to really drive her to be a great character 
because look, she's gonna have an uphill battle. There, there is no way that everyone else at East High is going to forgive her as easily as Ricky has. Especially, and I really hope they don't go this route, but especially if they forgive her and then they reveal the whole uh, harness thing. That is my one fear. I've talked about this multiple occasions. If they redeem Lily in the eyes of Ricky, which they kind of already have, and in the eyes of everyone else, everything's going great, and then they find out that Lily stole the harness, and then they all get pissed at her. It's such a cliche, it's so overused, and to be honest, it doesn't make sense. That's not realistic in real life. If one of if if someone was, you know, I wasn't totally cool with someone, but then I got to know them and they I found out they were actually a really nice person and, and that they they left their whole, you know, maybe attitude behind and they're not that person anymore. A mistake they made months ago would not affect how I think about them now because they have changed. We're not going to get anywhere in this world if we don't allow people to change. You wouldn't want to be judged based off your worst mistake, especially if you've looked back on it and changed from it. So it, it's one of my pet peeves when it comes to writing. I really hope they don't do that. I think what they have to do is they need to come clean straight up in episode one, have Lily be straight up to Ricky and be like, look, Ricky, I'm sorry. I got to be honest with you. I took the harness. It, it, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. And she just, she just goes on this, this brief monologue about how she's so sorry that she's not the person anymore, blah, 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 blah. And then Ricky forgives her and it's all done. It's done. We don't have to think about it again because in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. What matters is that she changes and she's going to. She. How do I put this? Ricky is the main character of the show. There, there are multiple main characters. There's Ricky, there's Nini, obviously, they're the main two. There's EJ, Gina, Carlos, and Seb got a bump this season. So did uh, Big Red and Ashlyn. But on all the posters, season two specifically, Ricky is the most prominent. If there was a quote-unquote main character, he would be it. So, they're not going to put, I would hope, the main character with someone who's going to make him a worse person. With someone who's going to make him unlikable. I don't think they're going to make the main character totally unlikable. I mean, they did it with Nini, but anyway. They're, they wouldn't do this... If there wasn't an intention, they, they wouldn't specifically have casted Olivia Rose Keegan, who I would have assumed in the audition room showed that vulnerability f with Lily. They wouldn't have cast her. They wouldn't have allowed her to add that vulnerability to Lily if they didn't plan on diving into it more down the road. If they wanted just a villain, stuck-up, attitude jerk, they would have cast an actress or they would have directed... Olivia Rose Keegan to act in that way. But they didn't. Unfortunately, Ricky and Nini is not going to happen anymore. I think we need to forget about that. It would be really, really bad writing if they went back to it now. They did it. They got together. They broke up. Well, they broke up, got together, broke up. That kind of writing, on again, off again, writing and shows is some of the worst writing, some of the most lazy writing you can have. The best trajectory for the show is for them to just keep moving forward and not to go back. Lily is forward. Nini is back. He goes back to Nini. He regresses to where he was. He goes to Lily. Ricky progresses as a person, as a human. And he also helps Lily become a good person. He... He pretty much Rickyfies Lily in the sense that all Ricky wants is the best for people. That's not going to change when it comes to Lily. 
Anyway, this video was way longer than it should have been. But I I feel very strongly about this. Uh, honestly, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I feel strongly about this. I really shouldn't. She's barely in the show. Uh, I mean, she's going to be a much larger part of the show, obviously, in Season 3. Now that she's going to start dating Ricky. But there was just a sort of relatability to her in a season because of that genuine undertone that Lily had that I, I just didn't feel with any of the other characters this season. Uh, I don't know what it is. I can't explain it fully. I know a lot of you guys still in the comments are going to say Lily's bad, break up with Lily, blah, blah, blah. But I hope that I have at least convinced some of you to, if not totally be on Lily's side, just maybe be a little open-minded to Lily in the future. Because as I said, it, this, I mean, this, I know this is a TV character. This is a fictional character. Like, it, it's not that deep. I know. I understand. But in real life, you wouldn't want someone to judge you on your past if you are truly trying to change and if you have changed. So don't do the same to Lily. Just because you want to see Joshua Bassett and Libby Rodrigo be together in High School Musical, the musical, the series. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. It's not for the best of the show. If they're together, it's for the best of the show. If Ricky's either on his own or Ricky and Lily are together. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. If you stuck this far, uh, I don't know. Go in the comments, say Camp Rock Season 3. I guess like, that's what I'm guessing is season three. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future High School Musical, the musical, the series videos every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you next time.